So a lot of us Flash designers and developers right now are starting to make the move towards doing animations in HTML5. And it's a very exciting time uh, for us, but it's at the same time a very confusing time for us because I don't know how many of you have done HTML5 animations yet or tried to, you know, even experiment with it. However, I basically have been going ahead and done a couple of projects myself, and yeah, it's time consuming, it's confusing, it's a little bit different. And uh, there aren't a lot of tools out there in the market right now that allow you to easily create HTML5 animations. There's a couple, one is called Sentry Animator, one is called Ratty. They're kind of limited and uh, they're very experimental at this point. So what do you do? Well, Adobe has come out with a project that basically has helped us out a lot with that. Now later this summer they're going to release a product called Edge. And this will be available first in Labs as a limited version of the tool to allow you to create H not just animations but HTML5 interactive projects down the road. It won't officially be ready for prime time until probably later this year, maybe by Max. Maybe not even until 2012 when Creative Suite 6 comes out, if it's even part of Creative Suite 6. We don't even know about that yet. So what we have instead right now is this product called Wallaby. And Wallaby, if we take a look at the monitor here, it basically takes your HTML5, it takes your Flash animations, your FLA files, and just by using drag and drop, converts them into HTML5 animations. So I'm going to show you today how to do one of them. So recently I did a project right here for an artist named Greg Raleigh. And the whole idea was because it was a 30 second uh, flash face commercial and the whole purpose was to basically A, use it as a flash ad on a website and B, to use it on YouTube as well. Which of course if you're familiar with flash it converts automatically to quick time movies. So if we switch here on the playbook to YouTube, I'm going to show you what the final, final animation looks like. You're invited to an intimate evening with Greg Raleigh, co-founder of Supergroup Santana and Journey. Hi, this is Greg Raleigh. Join me for an evening of music and conversation in the San Francisco Bay Area. See Greg Raleigh in a unique performance filled with music, revealing stories and interaction with the audience for three big nights around the Bay. Thursday, June 23rd at George's in San Rafael. Friday, June 24th at the Showroom San Francisco. And Saturday, June 25th at the Club Fox in Redwood City. For tickets and more information, visit latinrocking.com. I'll be playing duets with special guest Austin Blues guitarist Alan Haynes. Looking forward to seeing you at the show. So that is how we did it for Flash and for YouTube. So how did we make it work for HTML5? So what you do first of all is you start out here in the Flash timeline. We go back here to the monitor. You'll see here we have the timeline set up here again. All you can use here basically are movie clips and graphic symbols. That's it. Don't worry about buttons because you're not doing any air activity. There is one exception to this rule. You can, create an, uh, you can create a layer called Actions or any layer you want for that matter. Put a keyframe right at the end and in that keyframe put a stop action in there. That's the, only act, that's the only action script that actually Wallaby recognizes. And that's in case you don't want the project to loop. Because a lot of times I've already done Wallaby animations a couple times and it just loops and loops and loops and it's not very, very well documented. So you need to make sure there's a stop action at the end if you only want to go one time or as they call it an HTML5 or CSS3, an itineration. So make sure you have it set up that way. Then go ahead and you save your FLA and again, if you notice in the project here, we have uh, we had audio in there. Delete your audio. Don't use that. There's another way to use it, and we'll explain that in a moment. But don't put the audio in here in Flash. It will not allow you to make the conversion. Same thing with fonts. Uh, the fonts will go through, sort of, but they actually won't show up in your project. So any fonts that you have here like this, this is the attic font. Uh, you can't use font face. not going to happen. So basically, you have to convert everything into graphics. In this case, I convert all these and went to fireworks and created PNG files for every single font symbol that I used in the Flash movie. Brought in the Flash and then made sure the uh, animations were in check. Made sure the timelines uh, and the sequences were still the same XY coordinates. So from there, you go here to Wallaby. And, you know, on, on first look here, Wallaby kind of looks like your, uh, your ugly girlfriend from college, you know. You know, at first glance, she's not that special, but she has these amazing special powers you don't know about immediately, but when you find out, it's amazing. Same idea here. Basically, on the surface, it's an air app. It doesn't look that special. There's nothing great about it, but it does some amazing things in the back. So what you do basically is you can do one of two things. You can either browse for your Flash movie by clicking this button here, or you can just simply drag and drop a file from your desktop or hard drive, whatever, into Wallaby. It automatically recognizes it. 
you can change some preferences if you want, and then you click the convert button and it automatically creates your file, usually. Uh, the first couple times I did this, it basically, go back here, it basically had some errors in there. You've got to be very careful and open your errors and figure out where they are. They will tell you kind of cryptically where on the timeline the errors are, what the keyframe sequence is, so you can figure it out. Uh, for example, there were a lot of times where I would do like glow effects in Flash or I would do other types of effects and they would not show up on the time and they wouldn't and they would create errors. I actually had to put the glow in Fireworks or the drop shadow or whatever in Fireworks and bring it back in. So again, if you're using all those filters there in Flash, it's not going to work for you. Get rid of them. Delete them. Find them and get rid of them and do an output again. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a pain, but that's what you have to do for now. So once you do the conversion, you're basically set. And so this is what I came up with for HTML5. I also did one other thing here. I also added uh, the audio tag to bring the audio back in. But as you'll see in a second, the audio is going to be a little bit out of sync. There's no way to do like in Flash where you can put audio in the timeline set to event, event, start, or stop, or stream. You can't do that here. You just bring it on and you hope for the best. And so this is what we came up with. So let me just restart this. To an intimate evening with Greg Raleigh, co-founder of Supergroup Santana and Journey. Hi, this is Greg Raleigh. Join me for an evening of music and conversation in the San Francisco Bay Area. See Greg Raleigh in a unique performance filled with music, revealing stories, and interaction with the audience for three big nights around the Bay. Thursday, June 23rd at George's in San Rafael. Friday, June 24th at the Showroom San Francisco. And Saturday, June 25th at the Club Fox in Redwood City. For tickets and more information, visit latinblogging.com. I'll be playing duets with special guest Austin Blues guitarist Alan Haynes. Looking forward to seeing you at the show. Now, there's one other thing I didn't hear as well in this project, and that's like basically where the logo is. I went to Dreamweaver, and you just use any code editor you want for this part. I just add a simple AREF tag to link it to the uh, Latin Rock Gang website. So if you click on this, it should take you right there and excuse the noise. And that's the Latin Rock Gang website. And that, in a nutshell, is how Wallaby works. So again, it's not totally, if you're trying to do something really highly interactive, you're not going to get that done with Wallaby, but it's a good starting point. If you're just trying to do an animated commercial or a banner ad, then this is great. This is exactly what you want. Wallaby is perfect for you. So that's basically uh, our first uh, little uh, demonstration here on how to use the future of the web here on Data TV and on our YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more of this where it came from, as well as some additional rants on who knows what. So I'm Adam Bell, and I'm out of here. See you next time.